What are you looking at? What if we had kids? Janine, what if we had a family? We would remember that. If Tommy changed our past two or three hours after it happened, we wouldn't remember any of it. Something's not right. Will you stop it? Please. We've been married for five years. We have a cat, Charlie, who we adore. We have each other. You always say to me that even if you didn't know me, you would still love me. No one can make us not happen. No one. some powerful scenes we're checking out here. Now we are back with Oscar winner and founder of No Studios here in Milwaukee, John Ridley. Now that what you just saw was a clip from his upcoming film, Needle in a Time Stack. So tell us a little bit about or you know what this movie is about. Uh, Needle in a Time Stack is based on a short story written by a gentleman by the name of Robert Silverberg. And it was a short story I read probably in the mid 90s and really one of the most powerful stories I've ever read. It's a near fi, which is a, a science fiction that tends to take place in a world that very much looks like our own. And it's a space where time travel is the norm, the same way, you know, a couple of years ago we didn't know what Zoom was and now it kind of dominates our lives. And it's less about science fiction and more, as you saw in that clip, about questions, mm -hmm. about what happens when our lives may change in subtle ways around us every single day? And what would any one person do to hold on to the life that they have? And sometimes in holding on to the life that we have, are we missing the bigger picture? And that is enjoying the moments that we have. And I think that was a powerful supposition at any time, but after the last year where we're coming out of a space where for a lot of people, it feels like we've lost a year, where things are so very different, when people we cared about are no longer around us. I think that these questions are even more powerful, but um, it's a handsome cast, I mean this. Leslie Odom, Cynthia Erivo, Frida Pinto, Orlando Bloom, Jaden Wong, amazing actors in service of a beautiful story, um, and reminding people that all kinds of individuals are capable of love, of laughter, of loss, of regret. Um, that's what I love about this story so much, to have BIPOC individuals just living their lives um, and showing everybody that all of us are capable of being human. Now, how exactly did this idea spark? Well, you know, after reading the short story, it just, it never left me. And again, this was 20 plus years ago, and almost, I mean, sincerely, almost daily, um, there was something that happened. Um, when I would think about the past, when I would think about um, people that I'd met and what they were doing or what happened if I, you know, if I were in a relationship or not. And as my life changed, you know, went from being a single person to being married to having kids, you start to think more and more about choices that you make, um, regrets that you have, if you could have a do-over. So every single day over almost 20 years, I just thought more and more about this story. And I'm so happy and so appreciative to Lionsgate for not just allowing me to tell this story, but for, uh, getting a theatrical release as well as a streaming release, you know, they really support this film and support in a way if you love theaters, and I do, I encourage you to go out to theaters and this is going to be playing at the Oriental, so please check it out there. But for whatever reason, if you don't want to go out, if you can't go out right now, if perhaps you don't still feel safe mm -hmm. going out or don't yet feel safe, it's going to be streaming on Amazon Prime, so please check it out either in the theaters or on Amazon. All right, multiple platforms here. Now, I do want to know, what was it like to direct specifically? Well, for me, you know, sometimes it's a bit of a challenge. Um, when you write, when you direct, and you produce, everything is in your head. And, you know, it, it, it's like being on a, on a football team. You've already scored a touchdown in your head, and you just want the other team to understand the play, get into the end zone. That's all you have to do. But every once in a while, you have to, you have to kind of take your, your foot off the gas and really engage with everyone on the team, on the crew, 
uh, your cast, and make sure everyone understands what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And again, I, I could not have asked for a better cast, not just in terms of their ability as actors, but just in terms of their ability to be real team leaders, and certainly the crew. There are a lot of individuals I've worked with many, many times, and I really, really lean on them to support me and make just honestly what is just a beautiful, beautiful film. All right. Well, John, thank you again uh, for speaking with us. And thank you so much for keeping your heart really here in Milwaukee. Again, Needle in a Dime Stack is out this Friday. That is October 15th.